Hello everyone, welcome to EDSS, a complete solution for institutions. Here, I am going to explain the complete flow of conducting online tests for the students using this software. If your institution has a grading configuration, then you can configure the grading system as per your need in grade management screens. After configuring the basic information in the application such as academic year, subject management, staff, students registration, syllabus configuration, then you can configure the online test. To do this, step 1 is creating a question bank. First, go to academics, online, click on online test and then click on question bank screen. This screen helps you to configure the online test questions which you want to assign to the students. You can configure the Objective Online Test OOT and Descriptive Online Test DOT just by selecting the radio buttons of test types. Now let's create the questions for OOT. To create OOT, click the radio button as Objective. Management can create five types of the questions that is MCSA multiple choice single answer, MCMA multiple choice multiple answer, FIB fill in the blanks, YON yes or no, MTF match the following. To create a question, first select the curriculum code class subject type and subject and then click on plus button beside the objective questions and then select the question type. While creating a question, application allows maximum 5 options for MCSA, MCMA and MTF. While creating a question for FIB, you should give at least Three underscores, otherwise it throws an error. For YUN type questions, by default, we are providing two types of options, yes or no. And now, select the question type, select the curriculum code, class, subject type, Subject, enter lesson name, select column count, marks, difficulty level and enter the description of question and answer. And then enter the options to add more options. Click on plus button to remove the option column. Click on minus. If you have grading configuration, then you can select the term field. Now, enter the question related to selected question type. You can configure the different operations of the question like upload the image, upload video link, etc. Also, Add the mathematical expressions and symbols using SYM icon in HTML edit and save. Then you can see the created question in that screen. You can modify the created question using edit option 
delete unnecessary records by using checklist the question under delete option but once the question is included in any test it can't be deleted also you can create bulk questions by clicking the import option in that download the sample excel format in file template field enter the questions in the given format All green color headings are mandatory and remaining are optional. You should not add, delete, modify any column or else Excel sheet gets failed while loading. After entering all the questions, save this sheet with other name on your PC. Now Go back to the screen, click on upload button and select the saved file and click on process file. Then the file gets processed and displayed under processed history. You can see the total count that is count of entered records in Excel sheet, success count, count of success records, failed counts, count of failed records. If any count is displayed under failed, then you can check the comments on clicking the eye icon under processed report. Based on the comments for the failed records, make changes accordingly in the sheet and save and then process again. Continue the same process until all records get successfully loaded. Then you can see all loaded questions on the screen. In questions preview, management can view the entire list of questions and also download all of them in word format. In preview options will reflect with instead of closed bracket. Management can also Place the checkboxes by enabling Enable Answer checkbox in preview on screen. Search options makes it easy to get the required information. Let's create the questions for DOT. To create a question for DOT, follow the same procedure on selecting the radio button of descriptive test type. Now, step 2. Manage. This screen is used to create an online test for the students. You can create a test for objective online test and descriptive online test as well. To create an OOT, select the radio button of objective and follow the below points. Click on plus button beside the objective test and select the curriculum code, class, subject type, and subject. If you have configured the grading, then you can select the assessment name term which is configured in grading system. If you don't have grading, then select the assessment name as general and assessment marks for how many marks you are conducting this exam and select start date and end date of the exam. When you select the subject, questions will be displayed which are created in question bank screen with respect to the subject. Here, there are two types of test modes, predefined and random. For predefined type, you have to select questions manually by checklist. For random, there is no need of selecting the questions if you just give the count of the question types under objective test overview field then automatically system will display the counted questions. While creating test questions, count is mandatory. If management does not want to include any type of question then write zero in the columns. Filtering by using the 
question type lesson name difficulty level field makes it easy to get the required questions after configuring the questions click on save then the test is created and use the same procedure for descriptive online test on selecting the radio button of descriptive but in dot you can create choice based questions also for example i have given question count as 6 and answerable questions count as 4 that means answer any four questions out of 6 in dot in dot total marks will get divided according to the total answerable questions once the test is created management can view the test questions in preview option application will not allow you to view the preview for completed test and ot which has been created with random type test you can also clone the you can also clone the created ot or dot you can edit or delete the created test before assigning this to the section if you want to add the instructions for the test you can add using instructions field filtration works on selecting the test type test mode curriculum code class assessment name subject type and subject fields and also search field makes it easy to get the required information step 3 is to assign this screen is used to assign the created test to assign the objective test select the radio button as objective to assign the descriptive test select the descriptive radio button now select the assessment name which is created in the manage screen section to which section you want to assign the test select the test date and time and if needed select the staff member under drop down mentored by field and then click on assign objective test to section field if management enables you can release marks only then student can view the result after the test also after assigning the test management can enable the can release the marks option after assigning the test for the section that record will be shown in manage assigned objective test field you can also check the student list who are assigned for the test using manage assigned users icon in action field if needed you can unassign the students whom you don't want to conduct the test for so those students cannot see the online test in their login you can generate this information in pdf and csv file as well you can delete the assigned test only before initiating it to the students or once the start date is expired or student has attended that exam uh, that test then you cannot delete that test step 3 student login for oot after assigning the test to section the students who are available in that section can see the online test and attend that test on mentioned date and time after student logs in into the application with their login credentials they can view the test in exam grades academic activity my online test screen
on clicking the start button they can start writing the test Students can attend the objective test and descriptive test by selecting the respective radio button. Student should click on save once he has answered a question and then click on next button. Once he or she has completed the test, click on submit. Then result will be generated and displayed automatically and the same result will be displayed in the activity screen for the management. Step 4. Activity. All online assigned tests and completed tests will be displayed in this screen. Assigned tests will be displayed in active objective test session and once the test date is expired, that effort will be displayed in complete objective test session. Also, you can have objective test and descriptive test by selecting the respective radio buttons. In completed objective tests, management can view how many students have attended the test, their overall results and individual question results just by selecting the items under action field. Management can also view each assessment result percentage in pie chart. Configuring the online test for the students using EDUSYS software gives you the results in a jiffy. Thank you. Have a nice day.